Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. And right now we are going to do RV Park Impressions. We are staying at the Buffalo Meadows RV Park. It is part of a casino. See, the casino name is Soshone Wilmot Casino Hotel. I don't know. We're at Fort Hall, Idaho. It's the casino out here. Right off the 15. Uh, so far, I like this casino. It's got paid. What do you call these things? Slots? <laughs> no, not there. Parking spaces for the RV. It's completely paved and around it is grass. Where I'm at right now, it's a little bit it's not really flooded. It's just the water is not soaking in to the soil too well. In these two spots, about that spot. I'll show you when we go outside. But um, I like it. The casino is fairly large. So I'm going to have dinner and breakfast there. And look, it's another spam pot. I've been getting a lot of these lately. As I was saying, we're going to go have dinner at the casino and breakfast at the casino. I signed up for a slot card and I'm a little bit questioning because they did not ask me for a credit card. So I don't know if this is free or if I've already paid for it. I've already called Walter and according to him, none, there is no charge from this casino at all. So I don't know if they're giving me this site for free overnight and, and they also gave me, I think it was five dollars in slot play. So here's the instructions for the slot play, and I will put money <laughs> into a slot machine just to get the five dollars out for free play. But they have my business as far as breakfast and dinner tonight. Breakfast tomorrow morning before I leave. Okay, I have only hooked up the water and electrical. I have 50, they have 50 amp. They have water and sewer here in the site. And I will, I'm going to walk around. I, I need to do part of it. Okay. Oh, we're testing out this new camera. It is a Lumenex, Lumex by Panasonic. It's a TS30. The reason I bought this particular camera, I don't remember what I paid for it, it's less than $200. The reason I bought this particular camera is that it's waterproof up to, it's waterproof, oh, waterproof up to 26 feet. So I can only go down 25 feet before my defib crushes. So this camera is even better than my defib. Imagine that. And we're going to be taking this camera to Iceland for when we go to the Blue Lagoon. That's the reason I got this camera, for the Blue Lagoon. So we're testing this out by doing RV park impressions for this particular RV park. Okay, let's go walk around. There we are at B2 is our site number. And again, I only set up the water and electrical, 50 amp. And this is what I mean by B1 being flooded. So it's not really flooded. I don't know how much of a frame I'm in right now. So hopefully I'm in frame. It's not a very big part. We've got picnic tables and it looks like restrooms over here.
there's the casino. A big casino. So it's not too far of a walk. Something I normally don't ever do. Going to the bathroom. A lot of rigs here today. Oh, that would be nice. Okay, that's the whole park. So yes, I would stay here again. Maybe even to explore the area. I don't even know what's around here. We're in Idaho. We just had dinner. Okay, take that back. I just had, when I say we, I mean the imperial we. Which is me. Anyway, we just had dinner at Camus Sports Grill. I had the ribeye steak, house salad, and a Malbec. Came out to $39.24. Not that you really care about how much the price is. The ribeye steak, for $28, you'd expect something a little bit more tender. It wasn't. It was very mediocre. They cooked it correctly, which is nice. However, it's kind of deceiving of a restaurant. The service, horrible. First off, this beautiful Indian woman comes over to your table. Pocahontas, it's, she's gorgeous. She takes your order and you think that she's going to be your waitress for the entire meal. She's not. All of a sudden, the person, this woman, two dogs fornicating. Oh, and she looked like a dog. Was the, was, like, <gasps> was the one who was bringing your food, getting your plates, getting your stuff. It's like, oh my goodness. Pocahontas apparently is too important to, to bring food or to check back on you. It was two dogs fornicating who essentially took care of you. And I noticed that with the other tables also. It's like she, Pocahontas just came over and took your orders and... She did appear again at my table when she was dropping off the check. That was about it. Other than that, it was two dogs fornicating. Alright, so that's how dinner went. Dinner, the salad and the Malbec was excellent. Steak, mediocre. So, we're going to spend the night here. Again, I would stay here again just to explore the area because I do like this park. It's nice and clean and it's paved. There's no dirt. You're not walking on dirt, which is wonderful. <sighs> Alright. The other thing also is the start of this video I was testing out the Lumix camera, which is waterproof. We will bring it to uh, the Blue Lagoon in Iceland in October so I can get pictures, but this is going to be just for water just for water, essentially. The audio, as you can see from the earlier footages, was horrible. So YouTube is mostly audio, as far as I'm The picture is secondary. The 
the primary is the audio because you want to hear people. So that's a bust. I also got a Canon camcorder when I was in Salt Lake City. It is the HD camcorder model HFW11, which is what we're recording this in right now. So we are testing not only the picture, but also the quality of the audio. Why are we doing all of these camera testing? Because for some odd reason, and again, this was a big mistake. The iPhone X is not downloading the videos properly that I record in it. I really wish I had my iPhone 6 again and never purchased this. This was a big mistake, very costly mistake. Right, I'm gonna get a good night's sleep because it's nice and quiet right now, other than the birds chirping, too much nature. You hear them? Birds chirping. Too many birds chirping. Too much nature sounds. All right, we're testing the audio. Hopefully it works. And I can download the SD card directly from camcorder to the laptop. That's what I want. And being able to save it to the external hard drive. See you in the morning. Well, see you after breakfast. Let's see how breakfast goes. Good morning. I had breakfast again at Camus Sports Grill. It was the only one open. Apparently the breakfast buffet is only on Sunday. That's what's at 7 o'clock. I had the fry bread breakfast, coffee, orange juice, and fry, and I ordered an extra fry bread to go so I can munch on it while I'm driving to Dillon. The fry bread breakfast is delicious. Fry bread? And, and scrambled eggs, and then some sausages, onions, and then hash browns. Absolutely delicious. So I highly suggest that breakfast if you're ever here at Buffalo Meadows RV Park and the casino is right next door. Walking distance. Great. Let's see. That's about it. It was a good breakfast. So... We're going to wrap things up here and then go off to to Dylan. All right, thank you for watching this I don't know what this is. <laughs> RV park impressions. So would I stay here again? It's a definite yes. Again, thank you for watching. Bye.